Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I wanna show you a quick tip on how to fix your PC and prevent your motherboard from locking up during the boot process. Now, currently I am using a i7 9700 CPU in combination with an ROG Strix Z390E gaming motherboard. I built this computer a couple of years ago and I'm hardly ever in here. So that's one of the reasons why it's never been a big issue for me. But uh, quite recently, I got sick and tired of it. And what happens is I have two Seagate hard drives, one eight gigabytes, I'm sorry, one eight terabytes, and the other one is four terabytes. And so every time I boot the computer, either I leave the drives disconnected and I have to plug them back in after I boot, because if I leave them plugged in, it freezes the computer in the BIOS. And so I have to constantly unplug it, turn it back on in order to fix the issue. But today I finally decided to go ahead, you know, to make sure I have my PC running in tip top fashion. And I wanna show you a quick tip to, in order to uh, prevent that from happening. So that way you can boot with external Seagate hard drives plugged in directly with this motherboard. Now I definitely wanna mention that this particular issue has only happened to me uh, with this specific, uh, specific motherboard. I do have a AMD variant of this specific type and I've never had any issues with ROG Strix in the past. Here, let's go ahead and get into this review and uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so here we are in the bio setting of the motherboard. And the first thing you wanna do is go on over to boot. Now, um, I've never had this problem in the past with any motherboard that I've ever purchased. Um, in fact, uh, the exact same Seagate external drives I have, I have some other ones on my other computer, and I have the uh, AMD version of this same motherboard, and I don't have any problems with it booting, uh, even if I use these Seagate drives right here. So, never seen this issue before came as an audit to me that this would be set at default. But anyway, so the first thing you wanna do, you wanna go over to your boot settings on the motherboard, and you wanna go to the line that says, wait for F1 if error. Now, typically this is enabled, so um, I disabled it myself, and that allows you to boot with your external Seagate drives uh, plugged in. Now, I don't know if this is a uh, Seagate issue, if it only happens with Seagates or other models. Uh, right now, these are the only external drives I pretty much have. Um, I have plugged in other external drives, um, such as these right here. Never had any issues with any of these plugged in through USB 3.0 or 2.0, or I've never had any issues with my external SSD drives, but primarily this only happens with the Seagate models that I currently have. So again, you want to make sure that you go to your BIOS setting, go to boot, go come down here to F1 if error, and make sure this is highlighted to disabled. We're going to go ahead, exit out, hit save changes and reset. So as you see, I haven't unplugged anything. My computer is going to reboot and I shouldn't be able to boot back in successfully now without any problems or issues. But um, yeah, again, I've never seen anything like this before. Um, in fact, when I first got these drives and I had them plugged into my motherboard, I had to reinstall the operating system several times because after a while it kept corrupting it. And so I had to do several different hard drive formats in order to fix everything. So as you guys can see there, there is no freeze at the boot. That screen did come up for a very short time period. It was really quickly. In fact, I didn't even have the camera on it too long so you guys can see it. But uh, there you go. There is me now uh, booting into Windows 10 uh, without getting logged into the boot setting or getting stopped. So again, this is uh, Keo Daiken. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and tutorial and, you know, I personally didn't find it to be too big of a problem because I'm hardly ever in here. I hardly ever use this setup. I mean, literally, I probably use it a couple of times a month. And it wasn't really a big hassle for me to keep unplugging the drives. But today I got sick and tired of it and thought I'd post this review for all of you folks. So, uh, again, consider liking and subscribing. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye.